In today's video, we are reviewing Athletic Greens. I will say that this is one of the most anticipated reviews I have probably done yet. I've gotten so many Instagram messages and comments in general about if I have a review on Athletic Greens because let's face it, it is one of the most popular and widely advertised supplements out there, especially from influencers and famous people, famous athletes, all of those things. So it is very, very popular, it gets a lot of press, and so by no means did they need to pay me to make this video. They are already very popular. They did, however, when I posted that I was already going to do a review video, offer to send me this sample pack. So this is five individual packets. So this is what I will be trying over the next five days and reviewing. And in this video, we're going to discuss ingredients. Are they good for you? Of course, is the supplement worth it based on those ingredients and the different nutrient facts included in it? Is it safe to consume the cost? And then does it taste good? Because that definitely matters as well. So like I mentioned, this is a very, very popular supplement. And for me, when people ask me about it, I just kind of disregarded it as another greens powder, which I have another video I'll post below here on greens powders in general. And then when I actually looked in depth at this product, my views definitely changed. Their kind of slogan and motto is that this really does replace everything else in your supplement cabinet or drawer. And so when I looked at it, I found that that was definitely the case for things that we were taking. And so my interest was piqued and that's when I kind of decided to actually do the video. And so let's dive into those ingredients, what they are and what kind of got my wheels turning on thinking that this might be a supplement that's worth it. So for the supplemental facts, it'll show you all of the different vitamins, minerals, and everything right then and there. The main thing that sticks out to me on this supplement facts is the B vitamins, specifically folate. They have the methylated version of folate in here in this supplement. Let's just talk for a second about what that means. The methylated version is the version that is the active form in our bodies. And some people, more people than we were, we originally believed, have a genetic mutation that doesn't allow them to properly methylate, therefore make folate active in their bodies. And so of course, those kinds of people, myself included, this kind of runs in my family, want to take that methylated form of folate so that there are no problems, so that we actually get to use it and it gets to work in its chain reaction in the body. This is very, very uncommon in supplements. Most multivitamins in general are just having folate in there, right? Folic acid, right? And they're not having this activated form of folate. So that was the number one thing for me that I was like, this is totally worth it because supplements that have that in it are not only more expensive, they're super hard to find. Um, so right off the bat, I noticed that and I really, really liked it. Of course, it also has tons and tons, a lot more than you need of the other B vitamins. These are water soluble, so it's not necessary to um, always get more than you need. You just get rid of the excess in your urine. However, it can help you with that energy. Some, some people have low B vitamins, um, and so it can help you with that energy. Everything else is just right on par, right? It's got the normal amounts of everything in it. It doesn't have iron, which is not a surprise. Iron is more constipating, and so um, they leave it out of a lot of multivitamins. So if you are iron deficient, or that's something you know that you need more of, this won't necessarily cover that basis, but they also have these other ingredients. And so it's got a probiotic in it, which is awesome. So you can already combine your multivitamin, your probiotic right there. Not to mention their superfood complex and their nutrient dense other things. What you need to know about this is that majority of these help with inflammation, which is really important. We cover that in a lot of different videos that we want inflammation low in our bodies. We don't want high grade inflammation or even low grade inflammation happening chronically. We wanna keep that low with what we eat and consume. Supplements can help with that. It even has other beneficial things like beetroot in it, it has spirulina in it, it has um, you know, green tea extract, all of these different things, spinach powder. They're just adding a little bit more of that traditional green powder sense of liquid vitamins coming from these sources. It doesn't mean that we don't eat those foods still and consume a healthy diet, but it is giving you that extra boost and extra anti-inflammatory power. The two other main things that stuck out to me from this other than the methylated folate and the probiotic that it already includes is going to be the fact that 
but this also contains milk thistle seed, which helps your liver detox naturally. That's something that we often take as a, in a different supplement already that it's already included in here. And then from there, it also contains ashwagandha, which is another adaptogenic herb that I often take for just leveling out my mood and anxiety that I tend to have. And so right then and there, that is so many different supplements already combined in one. So I saw from the supplemental facts that this truly was all of the good things, all of the right forms of those different things, and that piqued my interest. So from the supplemental facts and nutrition standpoint, this is awesome. Of note is also that it doesn't contain any artificial ingredients. It also doesn't contain any artificial sugar. There is stevia in here to sweeten it. And when we get to flavor, we'll talk about how that maybe pertains to the flavor. But the other ingredients are just natural flavors, ways that they make this not taste like dirt, hopefully. So it really is what it says it is in that convenient, comprehensive multivitamin or just supplements in general that you might have in your supplement cabinet and already be taking and this just combines them into one. Of course with that convenience comes price. So let's talk about price point of the supplement because that is going to be a huge barrier. A lot of influencers and famous people are um, maybe getting paid to talk about this. They're getting that supplement for free or let's face it they have a lot of money to spend. This is a really pricey supplement. It is combining a lot of different things though. So when I kind of did the math and add up all of the other things that I'm already taking, that this combines into one, I will be real that it makes sense of the price point here. And so if I combined, you know, a multivitamin with my methylated folate in it, that can run sometimes 30 or more dollars for the 30, um, 30 day servings, just like this would be. And then you've got my ashwagandha, then I'm always taking my milk thistle, and then a really good probiotic, not to mention all of the other things already combined in here. And right there, I can easily get to $100, which is the price point for a 30-day serving of Athletic Green. So it's $99 if you're not getting the subscription for a 30-day serving. So that 30-day serving would just come with the supplement itself. However, you can sign up for a subscription and it lowers that 30-day price to only $79, which I will say makes a lot more sense and seems a lot more reasonable for what you're getting for those 30 days. If not, honestly, a better deal than if you combined all of these on their own. And I don't like to swallow pills, especially lots of them. So if I'm really combining all of these things in pill form, not only will it be more expensive, but I have to swallow like 10 to 12 pills where I can just drink this and it's super, super easy as part of your routine. But if you are gonna be drinking this every day, how does it taste? So I will be reviewing this over the next five days and showing you kind of what I think and my feedback overall. So I tried this over five days. By no means am I gonna sit here and tell you that this tastes good. It definitely wouldn't qualify it as good tasting, but it's somewhat neutral, especially once I got used to it. Although if you're not used to flavors like this, natural juices or supplements in general, you might think it tastes a little funky. Some people would say that it kind of tastes like dirt. I definitely would not go that far, especially if you're just having your eight to 10 or 12 ounces of it. It's really not that much. And for what you're getting in it, you can't imagine that it's going to taste like something totally delicious, right? It is a health supplement in liquid form, so it is going to taste a little earthy. That's the best way I would describe it. It is slightly sweet from the stevia, and it's definitely an acquired taste. Another thing to think about when taking a supplement like this is that it does have probiotics and adaptogens in it. Typically, it's best to switch your probiotics up every couple of months for diversity, and adaptogens are usually best for short-term use. So this is something to consider, maybe cycle on and off a supplement like this, or continue to diversify the probiotics in your diet with natural foods like kombucha, kimchi, other fermented products as well. So overall, like I mentioned, I am not getting paid for this. They just sent me a five-day sample, but I really do think that this is something that I will be purchasing, um, not only for myself, but maybe also for my husband as well, that we can take this every day and really get rid of the rest of our supplements. Um, the only thing it doesn't have in it that I do wish that it did would be turmeric. I see how that would drastically change the flavor of what they've got going on here, so that's probably why they left it out. There is a lot of other 
other anti-inflammatory um, ingredients and, and supplements in this. And so while it may not be totally necessary, the only other thing I would add to this would be a turmeric supplement. So I will probably be taking this daily as well as a turmeric supplement and call it good. I really liked that you can drink this, that it's not pills, and like I said, it has the active form of folate in it and all of the other adaptogens and different ingredients in it that I already take. So this is awesome for covering all of your bases in one simple drink. But I would love to hear what you think. Have you tried this? Um, what do you think about the flavor? Would you say it tastes like dirt? Or are you kind of getting used to the flavor? That's kind of what I've heard is that when people start, they do not like the flavor, but it kind of get used to it and the benefits outweigh that maybe potentially bad taste that it might come with.